Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Lou Meat back here once again. I am with my friend Paige today. There is a place in Barstow, California called Game World. It's inside of a mall. It is a tiny video game shop, vintage video game shop, and I have permission from the owner to go film today. So that's what we're gonna go do. I'll see you guys there. All right guys, we're a mile away right now. And right when I get there, you'll see that there's only one shop that's open to this entire mall, which is Game World. It is a trip to see. All right, guys, we're here. Check this out. We're going to walk in, and there is nothing in here besides this video game store. It's crazy. Let's go. Boom. Ghost Town. This was a mall at one point in time. A very happening mall at that. Yeah. And there's one store left. All right, sadly, uh, two weeks have passed. We tried to come film two weeks ago and they got broken into so not so good I gave him some time to heal but on a good note everything is fine now let's go inside and check it out all right so there is manga in here as well but look at this everything from ps1 psp and a whole wall of ps2 i get all my games from here this is located in barstow california uh, in the barstow mall so everything you would want is right up in here. Last time I was here, I did get the Kingdom Hearts. Look at that, all Guitar Heroes. They actually sell the guitars as well. Nickelodeon, Lord of the Rings. I picked all of those up. And yeah, more Kingdom Hearts too, really good. And the prices on everything is phenomenal. Ain't that right, Youngblood? Yeah. All right, let's check over here. PS1 games, and they're always stocking as well. Tekken, Disney, let's go. This is a blast from the past and nostalgic for everyone, I'm sure. And if you guys haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe if you can. Please consider it at least. Yeah, so let's keep looking around. We're gonna jump back and then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I picked up. Let's go check out the manga. So on this wall right here is all anime, all anime DVDs and old vintage looking Manga, Black Cat, you can even tell by the binders as well. Like some is water damage and stuff, but they do give really good prices on these things. And they're always picking up new stock because people out here, you know, they have them sitting down at their house or something and they just pick them up, come over here and sell them off. Old monsters, that's really nice. I haven't seen a single one of that. Well, Queen Mar 2. And even some of these are from, you know, old Toonami days and stuff like that, like Cowboy Bebop. Uh, Eureka 7, it's always a hitter. And they have a bunch of figurines too, stuff like that. Let's go over here. Old Atari as well. Dreamcast. That's crazy. Let's see, down here, Spy Hunter. Um, you know what? You know what I'm saying? How many people have played that back in the day? Legend of Sparrow, they have a bunch, dude. Uh, Spiral Dawn of the Dragon. That's pretty good for how old the game is. 48 bucks. You see anything you like, Game Boy? I've seen an old one somewhere. There's Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead? Red Dead Revolver. Alright, now I think I'm gonna go hit the PS1 games again. They're all <laughs> they're just right here. I didn't really get a good look. All right, so in this case right here, they're always putting new stuff in here as well. All the cool, like, box sets, stuff like that. PS4, PS3, like that. That's crazy, man. DS games at the bottom. Tony Hawk Ride. And then we have the old 360 wall. So in the shop, we're trying to um, collect all old video game consoles and have a plethora of just games so when people come in they could pick whatever one they are off the shelf all right let's get into the xbox wall as well this is like manga <laughs> manga shopping but just for cool vintage video games misadventures fable lost chapter we actually picked this up for ps2 the hobbit and uh, one of my guys at the shop's playing it right now. Really into all the Lord of the Rings, anything like that. Manhunt, man, that's cool. 
hit and run. I have two copies of that for the PS2. I was doing a trade thing, people were coming in, I'd trade an hour's worth of tattooing for old uh, PS2 games. And now let's get in some really old classic stuff. Drop it down in the comments below if you've ever played these when you were, you know, younger or a kid or you just collect now. What is that? Bassmaster Classic. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at the prices on these. Not that bad. 12 bucks. Crazy. I love this store. They have everything from weeb stuff to nostalgic stuff to figures to ps1 ps2 wii xbox gamecube you name it they got it i highly recommend if you're in barcelona to check this place out let's go over here oh man look at that bunch of pokemon old advanced games ds games everything you need i don't know what that is well what is that a sega master system wow that's cool Come over here <laughs> I think when I was a kid, everybody and their mom had one of those. Old Game Boy 1 games, too. Kirby's Dreamland. Killer. Alice in Wonderland. Um, I wonder if... I'm sure they do sell old Game Boys. Because if they do, I might have to pick one up. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Shark Tales. Wow, man, it's a blast from the past. And then... Figures. Already out. What's over here? More, just older, good ones. Some more 64. Tarzan, oh, that's cool. We have that for PS1. All right, over here we do have gold cards and also Pokemon cards as well. Um, I do believe they do a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh trading here too. That's cool, those ocarinas. Sick. Yeah, everything a nerd would want is right here. And then also in the back, they do have trading cards. Might pick up a booster box. <laughs> Might need to for another video. From plushies to costumes. And this is a really big store. It goes up and around all the way to the back. Let's check out these. Anything that catches your eye. Ooh, Kingdom Hearts backpack. With that, it's cool. Let's keep walking. And more backpacks over here. And if you look outside, there is nothing. <laughs> That's why I really like this store. Some coffee mugs as well. And then more cool little figures. Some posters we should probably get a poster huh yeah let's get one pick one and i keep ending up back here let's keep going it's this huge story just walk forever i really like that wallets and then we have the wii section is over here and the wii u All right, so me and Youngblood got so much stuff. We're gonna go back to the shop and we're gonna let you guys know what we picked up. All right, so we're back at the shop. We did pick up a lot of things. Um, first of all, shout out to the owner of Game World. And if you can support local businesses, especially ones like that who do vintage video games, stuff like that, keeping like nostalgic dreams alive. Anyways, he was kind enough to give us some free manga. Um, so let's go through that. We have, uh, it takes a wizard, boom. It's pretty big. I do like the older ones. I saw this, he gave this too. It's uh, Nora, volume one. And then he gave us How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, one through four, which is awesome. Thanks so much. And we did purchase these. So first off, we got a uh, Croc for PS1. You know what I mean? You can't beat that price either. Uh, we got a Bug's Life. I know a lot of people hate this game, but me personally, I used to play it a lot when I was a child. We have Sly Cooper 2. One of my favorites, all time favorites, Spider Man 2, PS2. We got Spider Man 1, and you know me, I'm a Wii nerd. 
I got one piece and I also got full metal. So that was come up. And then uh, just for whatever, I did get Grand Theft Auto Vice City and <laughs> the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I'm sorry it took so long to film this video. I'm happy I finally got to. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Later, taters.